aerial view of the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville, Florida for the 62nd or 63rd meeting between the Bulldogs and the Gators. According to Georgia, the Dogs lead the series 40-20-2. According to Florida, it's 39-20-2. Georgia says they started in 1904. Florida says 1915. And that's typical of the way these two schools look at this game. They can't seem to agree on anything except that they want to meet here every year in Jacksonville for the big game. And it is indeed a big one this year. Florida 6-1-1. One, one. The Bulldogs are... 7-1, and, and the Georgia Bulldogs in the lead in the Southeastern Conference with an undefeated record of 4-0 and entered the field. It is a technical home game for Florida, so the Bulldogs will be wearing their white jerseys, their away uniform. Of course, Vince Dooley, their head coach, the Florida Gators, the team of adversity in 1984. Charlie Pell resigned. Galen Hall took over as interim coach under talk of probation and recruiting violation. But the young men you see entering the field right now have played beyond the adversity. They are 6-1-1, one, and, one, and they're in the hunt for the Southeastern Conference Championship. Kevin Butler, number five for Georgia, number seven, Hampton, in the center of a three-man receiving team of McKeel, Hampton, and Gary Roll. It hits in the end zone and goes out from the Florida 20. Misdirection. John L. Williams. Shy of the first down into the front of the driver's seat for the new head coaching job on first down. Lots of two. Mac Burrows for Georgia, a freshman at left yard. And from the 33, in motion out of the backfield, Tron Jackson. Sweet to the left side. Touchwood Smith thrown down. Three. To the front man, John L. Williams. First down, Florida. Oh. It's at this time to Hampton. Gets the first down. Motion. The tail back, Hampton. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Well. That's by his receiver. Pressure. Complete to the 35 yard line. Gary Roll. Pitch to Neil Anderson, 27. Goes to the 26 yard line. Williams, close to the first down. Moving his players over to the left. Looks left, now down in the middle. There's Hampton, touchdown, Gators! Misdirection to take advantage of that. Georgia's first first down. Now up to the 36, second down seven from the 36. Dukes. Gary, wham, he goes down. Player in the secondary. Third down, 12, Georgia. Not much that time for the 34th day of this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Chip Andrews for his second front of the day. Into the sun, the teal having to shade his eyes at the 15. He's first in the conference and puts returns to the 42-yard line. Neil Anderson cuts against the grain. Something he did. 41-yard line of Florida. Well, plenty of time. Yeah. Here comes the blitz. Gets the pass off under pressure, but can't find his man. Ardoni, a real star. Oh, it's a fake. And the pass is completed to number 20, Brett Wickman. And Wickman goes out of bounds with a first down at the 45-yard line. Ten at the 45 of Georgia. Hand off up the middle. Second quarter from the gate of Old in Jacksonville, Lorenzo Hampton. Breaks attack, 64 against Florida here, third down six. Bell under pressure, popped in the air, incomplete. He's talking about so well. Georgia's got two guys back there. They have Black. the ball in there. It instantly fumbled Florida the ball at the eight-yard line. Picks to John L. Williams. Out of the tailback, there's a roll. And the field. Bell gets it away. Incomplete. the three. Power on. Anderson, touchdown, Gators. Florida, touchdown. 
Dukes to throw on first and 10 from his 20. It's complete to Smith. He fumbles. It is falling on at the 28-yard line. Then comes loose again back to the 25. I believe Scott Williams has come up with a ball for Georgia. Hopewood Smith prior to this series. The net yard on a third and five. Dukes has his man. It's complete to Smith. He drops the ball. Had a 27-yard return the last time he touched the ball. Chip Andrews, one of the best punters in the nation. And he gets away a pretty good ball here. Sybil calls for fair catch. Drops the ball. It's fallen on by Georgia. Well, you saw Cleveland Gary, the freshman, who went into... Dukes to throw. Has a man there. Todd Williams to Cleveland Gary ran into his own player out to the five. Todd Williams, his first pass since the injury. Throwing it upstairs. Incomplete out of bounds down about the 25. Williams dumps it off short to Andre Smith. Neil Anderson.
history. Not an unusual play to call from that position at the field. If the man's covered, just overthrow it. You punt it anyway. You have an opportunity here to get good field position, especially when you have flyers like Mateel and Frankie Neal and McDonald. But Kerwin Bell put that right on the nose. Harris was in pretty good position. Kerwin held. Bell threw it right in there for six points. And this is Turner, Network Television. Smith, about seven Georgia from the 27-yard line. Tom Williams, screen pass right side to Wayne. Wayne gets the first down. For the defense stymies Georgia, and then the third offense scores. Lars Tate, 32, drives to the 15. Todd Williams, rolling, has plenty of time. He's going to take it upstairs. He's looking for speech to Freddie Lane, who's double covered. Out of bounds at the 20-yard line. In they hold on to this 24 to nothing lead the next 12 minutes or so here in Jacksonville. Williams breaking loose when he sees nobody and he gets out of bounds close to the and what color you wearing here is Lars Tate that's the first down to the 50 uh, excuse me Todd Williams here he goes again first down Williams goes in the game not this time As a man there, kicked away, almost picked up. Pass broken up. Third and 17. Todd Williams getting it downfield again. Incomplete. Able to show you some great views from field level, but like George's success in winning the game today. Five clock down inside 10 minutes now. Here's Hampton. Oh my! He was on Frankie Neal in motion. Hand off to Hampton. Hampton blowing it in there. Bugs. Hand off. John L. Williams. First down. tailback speed inside they give to Neil Anderson with a 15 bell going to throw almost completed it down 8 Florida from the 15 of Georgia under pressure Culpepper hits him incomplete at the 11 Culpepper in the hunt they are now joining Florida in the driver's seat here's the field goal attempt as Florida adds insult to injury 27 to nothing with 621 remaining in this football game. Somebody should tell him he can stop biting his fingernails now. It's over. 27 to nothing. Blaylock's in the game. They're going to try to get it to the speedster, 37, and he can't catch up to the ball. I'll bring him home safe. It's a tough game to telecast with all of our... Intercepted. That's Mark Korf. And Korf goes down at the 45-yard line. Looks like the game has not even started yet. Here's Korf. In the red shirts are emptying out rapidly. It's an interesting view of human nature. Max for Florida now. That was it. I hope we can. Now he's happy that he's able to play the youngster with his big lead. I'm sure neither coach anticipated a score such as this. I 27 know. we did. This has been a difficult loss for Vince Dooley. To lose is one thing, but I know that he's a little embarrassed by his team's performance today. On the third and three, clock ticking down, nine, eight, seven. And this game is just seconds away from being history, but hold it, the clock stops there. That was fourth down, and they will, or it brings up fourth down, they will stop the clock to reset the ball and restart it again. And <laughs> this game will be over in only five seconds. And Galen Hall, you have to feel good for that gentleman. He certainly did not expect to be carried off the field at the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville at the beginning of the 1984 season. Florida 27, Georgia nothing. This is Turner Network Television.